Imagine a creature towering over seven feet tall, covered in brown or black hair, with an unmistakable human-like countenance lurking in the dense forests of North America. This, my friends, is the enigma we know as Bigfoot. Our journey into unraveling this mystery begins with understanding the creature itself. Bigfoot, or Sasquatch as it's known in some circles, has been etched into our cultural consciousness for centuries, a specter of the wilderness that has both captivated and terrified us. Some describe it as a hulking, ape-like creature with a distinct musky odor and a blood-curdling scream that echoes through the forest. Others, however, see it in a softer light as a shy, gentle giant, a relic from a time long past. Its existence spans across different cultures, each with its own version of the creature. The Native American tribes call it Sasquatch, a term coined from their language meaning wild man. The Himalayan folks tell tales of the Yeti, the abominable snowman. Down under, the Australian Aborigines speak of the Yawi, while in China, it's the Yeren that is said to roam the remote mountains. So, what's the allure? Why has Bigfoot become a topic of such intrigue? Perhaps it's the thrill of the unknown, the allure of a great mystery unsolved. Or maybe it's the primal fear, the idea that something so human-like, yet so different, could be lurking out there in the wilderness, watching us from the shadows. It's a fascination that has sparked numerous expeditions, inspired countless books and movies, and even led to the establishment of organizations dedicated to proving its existence. But with all these tales, sightings, and even alleged evidence, the question remains, is Bigfoot just a figment of our collective imagination, or does it walk among us, hidden in the shadows of the wilderness? As we delve deeper into this mystery, we'll explore the accounts of those who claim to have encountered it, examine the scientific perspective, and attempt to uncover the truth about Bigfoot. The wilderness holds secrets, and for some brave hunters, it revealed the most elusive one, Bigfoot. Our journey into the heart of the Bigfoot mystery takes us to the rugged wilderness, where hunters, armed with their rifles and courage, have claimed to have crossed paths with the creature. Take, for instance, the tale of a seasoned hunter from the frosty wilds of Alaska. It was during one of his solitary hunting trips, deep within the thickets, when he suddenly felt a peculiar presence. He turned around and there, standing tall amidst the pines, was a creature unlike any he'd seen before. Towering, hairy, and oddly humanoid. He was frozen, not with fear, but with awe. This encounter, brief as it was, forever changed his perception of the wilderness and the mysteries it harbors. Then there's the story of a group of hunters from the deep south. They were on a regular deer hunt in the dense forests of Mississippi when they heard a strange guttural call echoing through the trees. Curiosity peaked, they ventured deeper into the woods. To their utter disbelief, they spotted an enormous shadowy figure swiftly moving through the undergrowth. The hunters, experienced and hardened, were left shaken and intrigued. Their tail, shared over campfires and in hushed whispers, added another thread to the ever-growing tapestry of Bigfoot encounters. And who can forget the account of the hunting duo from the Pacific Northwest? While tracking elk in the Cascade Range, they stumbled upon gigantic footprints unlike anything they'd seen before. The prints led them to a clearing where they reportedly saw a massive hirsute creature casually ambling away. This experience left them in a state of wonderment and sparked a never-ending quest 
for answers. These are not just tales of the unexpected. They are transformative experiences that have left indelible marks on the lives of these hunters. The encounters have stirred their curiosity, challenged their beliefs, and nudged them towards the realm of the unknown. They no longer perceive themselves as mere hunters, but as seekers of truth, attempting to unravel the enigma that is Bigfoot. However, it's important to note that these are personal anecdotes, fascinating as they are, and are yet to be substantiated by empirical evidence. These stories passed down and around often gain a life of their own, growing and evolving with each retelling, each listener adding their own dash of wonder and speculation. As the hunter's tales unfold, the line between reality and folklore blurs. Could these encounters be mere chance or is there more to the mystery? These stories, these first-hand encounters, beg us to question, to delve deeper, and to seek the truth. Is Bigfoot a mere figment of our collective imagination or does it walk amongst us, hidden in the shadows of the wilderness? Only time and relentless pursuit of the truth will tell. In the realm of science, evidence is king. So what does science have to say about Bigfoot? When we venture into the world of scientific analysis, it's all about empirical proof and reproducible results. The scientific community's stance on Bigfoot or Sasquatch, as some prefer to call it, is a bit of a mixed bag, largely due to the scarcity of physical evidence. Without a doubt, the cornerstone of science is physical evidence, something tangible that can be examined, analyzed, and tested. When it comes to Bigfoot, this crucial aspect is conspicuously lacking. There's no definitive Bigfoot carcass, no indisputable DNA sample, and no unambiguous photographic evidence. Yet, science is not entirely dismissive. Some scientists take an open-minded approach, acknowledging that while there's no conclusive evidence of Bigfoot's existence, the sheer number of sightings and anecdotal evidence suggests that something is going on. Several theories have been proposed to explain Bigfoot sightings. One popular idea is misidentification. In the vast untamed wilds, a bear standing on its hind legs or even a large shadowy tree stump could easily be mistaken for a Bigfoot, especially if viewed from a distance or in poor lighting. Another theory is the concept of Gigantopithecus, an extinct genus of ape that lived in Asia millions of years ago. Some scientists speculate that a few of these creatures might have survived and migrated to North America, evolving into what we now call Bigfoot. A third theory proposes the idea of a relict population. This suggests that Bigfoot could be descendants of a prehistoric primate that somehow survived extinction and continue to live in remote areas away from human civilization. Moreover, some scientists propose that Bigfoot sightings are psychological phenomena where people see what they want or expect to see. This is known as pareidolia, where the mind perceives a familiar pattern where none actually exists. Then there's the theory of hoaxes and pranks. Many argue that a significant number of Bigfoot sightings and footprints are simply the work of pranksters aimed at creating a stir or gaining attention. So what does all this mean? Well, it means that while science is skeptical due to the lack of hard evidence, it's not entirely dismissive. The scientific community acknowledges that there's something intriguing about the Bigfoot phenomenon, something that warrants further investigation. In conclusion, it's fair to say that science doesn't provide a definitive answer to the Bigfoot mystery. 
but it does provide a framework for understanding and investigating it. It encourages skepticism, but also curiosity and open-mindedness. While science demands evidence, it doesn't entirely dismiss the possibility of Bigfoot's existence. The hunt for Bigfoot, it seems, is far from over. Perhaps the most compelling evidence of Bigfoot's existence lies beneath our feet. Across the vast expanses of North America, deep in the heart of its dense forests, we often stumble upon giant footprints. These marks imprinted on the earth are not your ordinary footprints. They are massive, some reaching up to 24 inches in length, far surpassing the size of any human foot. The breadth, too, is astounding, with some prints measuring around eight inches wide. These footprints, attributed to the elusive Bigfoot, are not just oversized versions of our own footprints. They exhibit unique characteristics that set them apart. The depth of the prints, for instance, suggests a creature of considerable weight. The stride between the footprints indicates a creature of enormous stature, far greater than any human. The footprints also depict a unique toe alignment with the toes splayed out, unlike the parallel alignment of human toes. Some footprints even showcase dermal ridges akin to human fingerprints, hinting at the possible existence of a creature with a similar level of dermal complexity. These footprints have been discovered in diverse locations, from the remote wilderness of the Pacific Northwest to the swamplands of Florida. The sheer number of these footprints, the consistency in their size, and the distinctive features they exhibit make for a compelling case. They're not just random impressions in the mud. They are potential pieces of a mysterious puzzle. But are these footprints authentic? Could they be the work of pranksters keen to perpetuate the myth of Bigfoot? Or could they be the footprints of other animals distorted by natural elements? The debate rages on. Yet, the allure of these footprints remains. They have sparked countless expeditions, fueled numerous theories, and inspired a myriad of stories. They have become symbols of an unsolved mystery that continues to captivate our curiosity and challenge our understanding of the natural world. The footprints stand as silent testimonials, whispering tales of the unseen, everyday people living ordinary lives until they cross paths with the extraordinary in the heart of America, in the quiet towns and bustling cities, there are those who have encountered something far beyond the realm of the ordinary. These are not hunters or scientists, but everyday folks who have experienced the extraordinary, the enigma we call Bigfoot. Take Joe a mechanic from Idaho, a man more accustomed to changing oil than chasing myths. Yet one crisp autumn evening, while driving home, he saw something that would change his perception of the world forever. A creature towering and covered in fur standing along the roadside. Joe could only describe it as Bigfoot. Then there's Melissa, a school teacher from Washington State. She spent her days surrounded by textbooks and young minds far removed from the wilderness and its mysteries. But on a camping trip with her family, they heard strange noises echoing through the night. And in the morning, found footprints far too large to be human. They were left in awe with a story they could hardly believe themselves. And who could forget the tale of the elderly couple, Frank and Linda, from the outskirts of Oregon. They lived peacefully in their secluded home, tending to their garden, until the day they spotted a massive creature wandering through their property. It was a sight 
that both terrified and fascinated them. A story that they would tell with a twinkle in their eyes for the rest of their days. These are but a few of the many stories shared by ordinary folks who have had extraordinary encounters. Their tales, while differing in details, share a common thread, an encounter with a creature that defies explanation, a creature known to us as Bigfoot. These experiences have profoundly impacted their lives, altering their perception of the world and the mysteries it holds. They serve as a reminder that the world is far more vast, far more mysterious than we can ever fully comprehend. The skeptics may scoff, the scientists may demand evidence, but for these individuals, their experiences are as real as the ground beneath their feet. Their stories shared with a mix of fear, awe, and wonder continue to add layers of intrigue to the enigma that is Bigfoot. These tales, as extraordinary as they are, continue to fuel the mystery surrounding Bigfoot. They keep alive the possibility of its existence and they inspire us to question, to explore, and to seek the truth. For the world is full of mysteries and perhaps, just perhaps, Bigfoot is one of them. Everyday people living ordinary lives until they cross paths with the extraordinary. These tales, as extraordinary as they are, continue to fuel the mystery surrounding Bigfoot. Bigfoot, a creature of the wild, has found a home in our living rooms. You see, the allure of the unknown, the thrill of the chase, and the mystery surrounding a creature like Bigfoot has transcended the realm of folklore and firmly entrenched itself in our popular culture. This legendary beast, often depicted as a towering, hairy humanoid, has been the protagonist of countless movies, TV shows, and literary works, captivating audiences worldwide with tales of its elusive existence. From the silver screen to the small screen, Bigfoot's influence is undeniable. Blockbuster films like Harry and the Hendersons and The Legend of Boggy Creek have brought Bigfoot to life in a way that only Hollywood can, while TV shows like Finding Bigfoot have spun entire seasons around the pursuit of this elusive creature. Beyond the screen, Bigfoot has left its footprints in the world of literature too. Numerous novels, comic books, and children's stories have taken inspiration from Bigfoot lore, weaving narratives that range from thrilling encounters to heartwarming tales of friendship between humans and this forest-dwelling giant. Bigfoot's influence extends to the world of art and music as well. From album covers to murals, and from folk songs to heavy metal anthems, Bigfoot has inspired artists and musicians to create works that reflect their fascination with this mysterious creature. Even in our everyday conversations, Bigfoot has found a way in. Phrases like finding Bigfoot or Bigfoot sighting have become part of our lexicon, often used to describe anything elusive or hard to find. The Bigfoot phenomenon has indeed permeated our culture in ways few other mythical creatures have. Its presence in our stories, our art, and our language is a testament to our collective fascination with the unknown and the unexplained. As Bigfoot continues to captivate our screens, the enigma only grows. In every mystery, there are those who doubt. Bigfoot is no exception. Step into the shoes of the skeptics. These are the individuals who question, who probe, who demand concrete evidence before they believe. When it comes to Bigfoot, they are not easily swayed by anecdotal accounts or blurry photographs. They want facts, they want proof, they want science. And until they get it, Bigfoot remains a myth, a legend, a tall tale told around 
campfires. So, what do the skeptics say? Their argument is straightforward. They maintain that the lack of physical evidence is a clear sign that Bigfoot is a figment of our collective imagination. Despite thousands of alleged sightings, no one has presented a body, bones, or even a strand of hair that can be definitively linked to an unknown primate species. Skeptics also point to the vast number of hoaxes that have been exposed over the years. Fake footprints, doctored photographs, and even full-blown costumes have been used to perpetuate the Bigfoot myth. They argue that the sheer quantity of these fraudulent claims undermines the credibility of all Bigfoot sightings. Then there's the argument of probability. According to skeptics, the odds that a large, unknown primate could evade detection in today's world of advanced technology and ubiquitous surveillance are slim to none. They argue that it's more likely that people are misidentifying known animals or letting their imaginations get the best of them. But what about the footprint evidence? Skeptics have an answer for that too. They suggest that many of these footprints could have been made by other animals or even by people as a prank. They argue that without a known Bigfoot specimen for comparison, we can't definitively say that these footprints belong to an undiscovered creature. Yet, the skeptics' views, while critical, are an essential part of the conversation. They challenge the believers, they force us to question, and they push us to seek out more concrete evidence. And in doing so, they keep the mystery alive. They ensure that the search for Bigfoot doesn't become a matter of faith, but remains a quest for truth. And let's not forget, history is replete with instances where skepticism has been proven wrong. Time and again, creatures thought to be myths have turned out to be real, their existence confirmed by science. Who's to say Bigfoot won't be the next? Skepticism, while challenging the believers only adds another layer to the Bigfoot puzzle. And so the search continues, the debate rages on, and the mystery of Bigfoot remains as tantalizing as ever. As we delve deeper into the Bigfoot enigma, the quest for truth becomes more compelling. The whispers of the forest, the shadows that flit between the trees, the footprints left behind, they all speak of a mystery that refuses to be unraveled easily. The search for Bigfoot is far more than a pursuit of an elusive creature. It is a quest for understanding, a seeking of truth that transcends the boundary between myth and reality. It is a journey into the unknown, guided by the beacon of scientific curiosity and human fascination. Technology and scientific advancements have played a pivotal role in this quest. Every day, new tools are developed that aid in the exploration of the uncharted territories of our world. From thermal imaging cameras that pierce through the darkness of the forest, to motion sensors that detect the slightest movement, to DNA analysis that can identify the species from a single hair strand, technology is the torch that illuminates the path to discovery. In the case of Bigfoot, technology has been both a boon and a bane. On one hand, it has provided us with a means to capture evidence that would have otherwise been impossible to obtain. Grainy footage, blurred photos, and ambiguous footprints have given way to high resolution images and detailed three-dimensional models. But on the other hand, technology has also given rise to skepticism. The ease with which images and videos can be manipulated has cast a shadow of doubt over the authenticity of evidence. Every piece of proof is scrutinized, analyzed, and often dismissed as a hoax. In the face of such skepticism, the role of science becomes even more crucial. 
Science is the compass that guides us through the maze of misinformation and deception. It helps us distinguish between fact and fiction, between evidence and illusion. Scientific investigations into the existence of Bigfoot have been ongoing for decades. These studies have employed a wide range of methodologies, from examining footprints and hair samples to analyzing audio recordings and video footage. Some researchers have even ventured into the wilderness, equipped with the latest technology in the hope of coming face to face with the creature. The results of these investigations have been as varied as the methods employed. Some have produced evidence that suggests the existence of an unknown primate species. Others have concluded that the Bigfoot phenomenon is nothing more than a combination of misidentification, hoax, and folklore. Yet, despite the contradictions and controversies, the search for Bigfoot continues. The quest for truth is not deterred by the skepticism or the challenges. Instead, it is fueled by the desire to understand, to explore, to discover. We live in an era characterized by rapid technological advancements and scientific breakthroughs. Yet, the mystery of Bigfoot remains as elusive as ever. Perhaps it is this contradiction that makes the search for Bigfoot so fascinating. In a world where knowledge seems to be at our fingertips, there are still secrets waiting to be uncovered, truths waiting to be discovered. And so the hunt for Bigfoot goes on. Every footprint is examined. Every sound is analyzed. Every sighting is investigated. The quest for truth is unending driven by the relentless pursuit of knowledge and understanding. But in the end, the truth about Bigfoot is not just about the existence of a creature. It's about the human spirit and the boundless curiosity and the insatiable desire to explore the unknown. It's about the thrill of the chase, the excitement of discovery, and the satisfaction of solving a mystery. The truth about Bigfoot, elusive as the creature itself, remains hidden, waiting to be discovered. But as long as there are mysteries to be solved, as long as there are questions to be answered, the search for Bigfoot will continue. Because in the end, the quest for truth is not just about finding answers, it's about the journey itself. Bigfoot, myth or reality? This question remains unanswered. As we delve deeper into the enigma that is Bigfoot, we've traversed through the thick wilderness, scrutinized footprints of an unknown entity, and listened to captivating tales from hunters, scientists, and ordinary folks who swear by their encounters with this elusive creature. We've dissected the phenomenon in popular culture and heard the skeptics voice their doubts. Yet, the question persists, does Bigfoot truly exist? Each point of evidence, each story we've uncovered has only added to the layers of this mystery. The hunter's tales echo with a sense of awe and fear, their experiences vivid and unforgettable. The footprints, enormous and unlike any known creature, hint at the presence of a giant who walks amongst us unseen. The scientists with their analytical minds grapple with the inconclusive evidence, their curiosity piqued by the unknown. The ordinary folks, those who've experienced something extraordinary in the heart of the wilderness, share a common thread, a moment that has forever altered their understanding of the natural world. These narratives, diverse as they are, all point towards one thing. An unanswered question that continues to intrigue and mystify us. Bigfoot, in all its elusive glory, has had a profound impact on our perception of the natural world. It embodies the mysteries that lie in the heart of the wilderness, the unknown entities 
that may roam the deepest forests or the highest mountains. The pursuit of Bigfoot isn't just about validating its existence, but about exploring the uncharted territories of our planet and our understanding of life itself. The Bigfoot mystery, in essence, is a testament to our innate curiosity, a symbol of the questions that drive us to explore, to seek, to understand. It's a reminder that there's so much more to our world than what meets the eye. So many stories waiting to be discovered. So many mysteries waiting to be unraveled. As we continue our quest for truth, the mystery of Bigfoot serves as a reminder of the wonders and mysteries that lie in the heart of the wilderness. As our journey into the enigma of Bigfoot comes to an end, we are left with more questions than answers. From the outset, our intention was not merely to delve into the existence or non-existence of Bigfoot, but to uncover the layers of fascination, fear, and intrigue that surround this creature of legend and lore. This journey has taken us through a myriad of stories and perspectives, each contributing to the intricate tapestry that forms the Bigfoot phenomenon. We've heard from hunters, their tales pulsating with the thrill of the chase, their encounters peppered with uncertainty and awe. These first-hand accounts paint a picture of an elusive creature, one that is as much a part of the wilderness as the trees and the rivers. It's a narrative spun from the raw, visceral experiences of those who ventured into the unknown. Their stories a testament to the blurred lines between reality and myth. From the scientific perspective, we've seen the struggle to reconcile empirical evidence with anecdotal accounts, the footprints, the grainy images, the sound recordings, all scrutinized under the lens of science. Yet the mystery persists. The scientific community grapples with the lack of definitive proof, their quest for answers, illuminating the boundaries of our understanding of the natural world. The tales of ordinary folks, of chance encounters and fleeting glimpses add a human element to the Bigfoot phenomenon. These stories, rooted in the everyday and yet defying the ordinary, underscore the pervasive influence of Bigfoot in our collective consciousness. They remind us of the power of folklore, of the stories we tell and the legends we perpetuate. In popular culture, Bigfoot has taken on a life of its own, a symbol of the unknown, of the wild, of the unexplored corners of our world. Movies, books, and television shows have tapped into this fascination, their narratives echoing our own curiosity and fear of the unknown. The Bigfoot phenomenon in this context is as much a reflection of our cultural psyche as it is a testament to the enduring allure of mystery. The skeptics too play a crucial role in this narrative. Their questions, their doubts, their demand for concrete evidence. These are the counterpoints that balance the scales that keep the discussion grounded. Their skepticism is a reminder of the need for discernment, for critical thinking in the face of uncertainty. In our quest to uncover the truth, we've navigated the intricate labyrinth of belief and skepticism, of science and folklore, of fear and fascination. We've explored the realm of possibilities, the scope for interpretation, the potential for discovery. In this quest, we've not just sought answers, but also embraced the questions, the uncertainties, the unknowns. The unanswered question of Bigfoot's existence continues to captivate us, its ambiguity a mirror to our own quest for understanding. We yearn for answers, for resolution, yet there's a part of us that revels in the mystery that thrives on the thrill of the unknown. 
Our exploration of the Bigfoot phenomenon is a journey into the heart of mystery itself, a testament to our innate curiosity, our desire to know, to understand, to uncover. It's a quest that transcends the bounds of reality and myth of fact and fiction, a quest that reflects our collective fascination with the unknown. And so, as we bid farewell, remember, the truth is out there, waiting to be discovered. Until then, Bigfoot remains a captivating enigma, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the movie Uncovering the Truth Bigfoot. Now, do me a favor and subscribe. And besides that, if you really want to support us, pick yourself up a nice t-shirt or a mug, click on the link below, and we'll see you in the next movie.